Hi guys, and today we'll be reviewing The Rocketeer, a cloth action figure by Mango. Mago? I don't know. Now, The Rocketeer. No, not the TV show, but the classic 1991 Disney live action movie. Set during World War II, that's about to begin, as our main characters of a group of people who has a love for flying planes and trying their best to earn money and get out in the world. Our main character named Cliff, who, who has driven the plane for a test drive, and then flies above over a shootout between a police cops and gangsters. As the plane gets hit from the shootout and crashes and, and Cliff quickly gets out of there, the gangsters were carrying something that would fall into the wrong hands. As the gangsters briefly escape and stash this package and switched it, but they get caught, Cliff later discovers the actual package and it's a rocket. And Cliff, who becomes the rocketeer for using this jetpack for good, Another group of people want to use this for something far worse. I recommend this movie. It's got a lot of heart, it's just great. Anyway, back to the review. On the top of the package we see the title of the movie along with the, the 17 plus. Hence is the age this is given. It says the action figure is 8 inches, 14 points of articulation, and we get to see the logo of their company. Well, we get a good long full display of the figurine with his jetpack on the window of here. On the left we get the artwork design of the Rocketeer that's featured. That's actually from the real movie poster. And down below we get a full on warning for choking hazard. Hooray! You can barely read it, but this says it's an official limited edition figure with original detail and quality. Now I will be the judge of that. And above is labelled movies. As in these cloth figurines categorized from them being movies to TV shows, etc. of what genre they are. On the back, we get a good photo of the actor Billy Campbell as the Rocketeer. While some of the logos and descriptions again of the figurine and a full on description of the history of the company. Apparently being a comeback for their figurines and new ones. Pause it if you want to read. And we get some extra legal guff here and there, as well their Facebook page if you want to check them out. And last we get a homage to the sculptors who made it. Alright, enough of the box, time to look at the Rocketeer himself. Alright, before we get into the action figure, I got another one. Because the one I opened and I'm showing you right now, was already in bad condition with the creases and scratches and the window was tearing and almost showing. And I stupidly lost my receipt and had to buy another one. Which is great, because I get to open one and leave the other one in good condition for value's sake. Plus these were half price and very cheap compared to the ones you see on the internet. I had to pay $15 and I got this from Toy Mate. Used to be Toys R Us. I saw many others like Star Trek, Stan Lee and Hannibal Lecter. I wish I got Stan Lee but I don't have the money right now and storage problem at the moment that I'm sorting out. Anyway, enough of me bumbling on that you're screaming and tearing your hair at me to get on with the damn review. Alright, let's get on with it. Starting off with the details of the Rocket Man himself, the helmet is beautifully sculpted, with the 1940s slash 50s aeroplane retro style fin on the top of the helmet, while we get very soft details of the curves and top sided vents, while near the eyes we get details of bolted screws, given the impression the bronze helmet was put together, just like in the movie it was. The eyes and mouth grill are just moulded in detail, but are painted black. As the rest, it's a molded in bronze soft plastic color. To the brown jacket, being made from fake leather, the type of leather you would find in those chair covers you would buy. But a lot of stitching from the chest, neck and sleeves, but no pockets, uh, that's a bit of shame. There's also painted on gold buttons all the way through up and down of the jacket. But the back is where you have to access to remove the jacket instead from the front like in the movie. The gloves slash plastic hands are molded in black, however the details do not form gloves, but his actual hands with detailed fingernails. Either he has very thin spandex gloves, 
or he has very burnt hands. The pants are made from the, this cheap canvas material, while it also has simple stitching, but with no pockets either, or a belt. And as well, like the jacket, the pants open up from behind, unless the Rocketeer is wearing the trousers back to front. The boots are made from soft plastic molded in black, featuring wrinkled details throughout, and a inner round section of the boots, and nothing besides a split middle throughout. So according to details, pretty simple and gives off the impression of it being a retro old school style doll. Switching to articulation, the head moves around a 360 degree style twist. The head doesn't go up and down, but the shoulders can rotate. But most of the clothing restricts all the articulation, as the arms can only rotate side to side, while the hands can rotate as well, pivot up and down, but the body can spin it also 360 degrees, while pivots ups and down. The thighs can, can move all around and do the splits, but again, the clothing restricts that power of movement. The knees can only pivot up and down, as well the feet, unless you remove the boots. So according to articulation, this is perfect for this type of figurine. Although the clothing restricts it, that's mostly common with all kinds of clothing figurines. But what's not common is that the model of this action figure is old fashioned by not using bold joints, but using elastic string inside of the body, elbows and thighs. Which is pretty much like the old school G.I. Joe style figurines back in the day, which is pretty cool and fits with the aesthetic overall of this action figure. It goes along with the company as well, since their history. Coming to accessories, we have the jetpack. It won't be the Rocketeer himself without it. The jetpack for its size, the detail is gorgeous with the silver sparkle paint, while two splodges of gold paint the tips of the two parts of the rocket, the grills and thrusters, as well the flaps at the end throughout. While some softer details can be barely seen, but overall it's a pretty good and slightly heavy chunk of plastic for the rocket. At the back, the straps are pretty weak, as instead of making leather straps, either from using the same material from the jacket, or using velcro or a button to keep it on the figure but it's made from the same rubber plastic bands that you use to held in toys or accessories inside of packaging so it's a bit cheap and i can easily customize it even though it fits with the, the style as many figurines had that kind of cheap look to make it seem that way but putting the rocket on but it's mostly a bit fiddly not trying to break the straps as i put it in through the arms the jacket material from the bands are tightening it which can over time rip the jacket and as you can see it has already teared a small cut can be seen which is the only downfall here so what do i think of it <gasps> i like it <sighs> It's pretty excellent, given the fact that it intentionally made them like the old style of action figure dolls you get from the 90s slash 80s or 70s. But I love the movie, it's good for any fan of the Rocketeer. Plus it's more for a collector's item, so most people will just keep it in a box. But if young fans don't want to play with this, it's not so bad if you want to open it and give it for the kids, as they would want to play it. But another thing I wish that was included, at least more accessories, like the German Mauser pistol, or a detail in his gloves with the buttons on each of his palms to indicate him activating the rocket like in the movie, or even have a stand for him. However, that might double up the price and some of these things I can do myself. So, next time, I will definitely do a customization modification video on this doll. So stay tuned, I'm very excited for that. So that's my review. I hope you liked this video and please check out my Facebook page and Instagram page, links are in the descriptions down below. And please check out the movie, it's a really good movie. And remember, I will see you in the future. Bye bye! Before I got this doll, I spotted this a week ago. I went to Vinny's, a secondhand places for clothing or toys or books that are very cheap and either they are for charity and such. I spotted this in a glass display under the counter and immediately grabbed it for five bucks. 
the cash register said there was a Robocop figurine and a Spawn figurine next to this one. Uh, but a gentleman before me picked them up for the same prices and left this one behind because he said he already has it. If I was quicker, I would have grabbed them, but I'm happy that I got this. As you can see, the two are completely different. This one has more detail. Even though the paint is not uh, accurate, it's pretty cool. I keep it in a box, just want to show you because I saw online. They go for more than five bucks. Apparently they go for at least 50 or 40, who knows, 60, you know. The price is high on this one. As well with the retro cloth doll. Because the details on both are pretty different. Detail of the chewing gum on the rocket, like in the movie. Anyway, that's pretty much all I've got to show you right now.